Happy New Month, brethren, and welcome to my COVID. <laughs> All right, so I think aside from my piano and drill, another type of beat I really like to make is Afro Swing because it's a good combination of dancehall and Afrobeat, basically. And today we're going to do a beat breakdown of this one that I did for Dreshi's Ice Cream. Right, listen. Yeah. It's actually a very, very simple beat. I'm going to leave a link below so you can listen to the full song after this video, all right? And also, there's a free sample pack waiting for you at the end of this video, so make sure you watch the end, all right? Now, let's do the walkthrough. We're going to start with the drums first. The way I actually created the drums for this beat was in three patterns. The drums keeps changing after a couple of bars. I was adding new elements as the music progressed. You know, it's almost like painting a picture. So let's start with the very first pattern here. And let me quickly point out that, as you can see, what I'm using here for the drums is this KS4 my piano drum pack. Instead of you to go about looking for specific drum packs for a specific genre of music that you want to create, usually you can use any drum pack to create anything. Because most of the time, it's usually the same sound, right? You might only need to do some tweaking here and there to get specific sound, but you know, drums are usually the same. The counter snares they use for drill, for example, are usually just hi-hats and snares blended together. And you can get hi-hat and snare from any sample pack. <laughs> the other time I was saying. This first drum pattern actually starts off as a very simple Afro string drum pattern, right? So you just go. But I've also set the main swing to about 21%. This is very important if you want to make like this kind of very swing Afro swing beat, basically. So we have the very first basic drum rhythm, right? And then I add this, guys. Yeah, you can hear the swing. And I added this next. You can actually say the drum rhythm for this record is actually color response. That's what I'm doing here majorly, right? So I have the first sound. Right? It's all color response. Then I added this second percussion sound. Right? To harmonize the first one. It's crazy, but you have to think about these things when you make your beat. And then I have this last percussion sound for the very first drum rhythm. So good. Right? This is actually one of my favorite sounds I use for those drums. It's also, you know, and I'm a piano percussion sound. It's crazy, right? Sick. Dope. And then on the next pattern, I created this loop. Right? This is where I added most of my shakers. Let's look at the sounds one by one again. So the very first sound here is another percussion again. So we have the first. And then I added this next one. Again, call a response. So somebody speaks. Somebody responded. <laughs> Do you understand? Uh -huh. and then I did this next percussion sound again. So it's speak, respond. <laughs> when you picture your drum rhythm like that, you can really create some very unique drum rhythms, basically. And then let's add the next percussion sound. Okay, this is a shake actually. So. Right. And there's something I'm also doing here, if you notice, I've randomized the velocity, right? So the first shaker hit is louder. Next one is quiet. And next one is quieter. And then it goes back up. So it goes. Do you understand? So that way the drum seems very alive. It doesn't seem static. And then the next one is another shaker. So again, color response. So we have the first shaker. Response. And then the third shaker and this drum pattern. It's that simple. And then let's go over to the third pattern. Like I said, what I did was split the drums into three different patterns. Now for the third drum loop, this is what we have. That's a 
actually quite sick. <laughs> Again, I'm introducing all of these drum patterns as the song progresses to create a very amazing picture, like telling a story, right? I've also used another, I'm a piano percussion here, right? So. And as you can see, I've also randomized the velocity of this percussion. And the first hit is louder than the others. So. What's our response? Another shaker for our response. So. Right. Dope. Again, very important to randomize the velocity of your notes so that your drum rhythm will not feel robotic. Mm -hmm. And then the next percussion sound here, this is also, I don't know, another random percussion sound. I'm sure I also got this from an my piano pack as well, right? Right, another percussion as well, right? I mean, that's a very, very dope drum loop. And like I said, I introduced them at different sections of the music. So it's progressive, right? So the drum starts first with just this one. It goes. And then it goes into. Right? That way the energy of the music just keeps going up. So that's our drums. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Now let's look at the melodies. Most of the sound I used in this beat were from Elements. Elements is a Waves synth plugin that most of you have that you probably don't use, but there's a lot of dope sounds here. Like listen to this, right? This is what, this is called Chimey. Right, right. Sounds very, very good. And then the next sound we're using is this piano from Element as well, right? Sounds very dreamy. Let's listen to that. Yeah. Right, that's a very, very good layer for the first sound. The first sound is sharp. The second one is soft. Perfect, right? You know, that's how you do your sound selections when you layer your sound. And then the next sound we're using is this mellow keys from Element. And this is also serving as my counter melody, basically. So I go. Very simple melody, but sounds very, very juicy. And then I use this bass from Cymatic. It's a house bass called Dunk House. Very, very, very sick bass. And then I think I added one more sound here. What's this? This one is what, uh, this is called Forest. This is from Harmless, right? And I'm using this to layer out my counter melody. Sounds very, very, very watery <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> Not like that, right? <laughs> right. This first part of the beat is serving as the verse, right? The very first verse. And I have some risers to take us from the intro to the verse, basically. This sounds actually from a drill kit that I got a while ago. Very, very dope. And now let's look at the hook. I said everything I've already mentioned, right? So I added one more bass from Morphin. Uh, yeah, this is called Bass Smoothie. Actually one of my favorite bass to work with. Yeah. Yeah. Now let me show you something very quickly. This is a very, very dope way to make your beat very dope very easily. Reverse your sound. This is the counter melody, but I've reversed it. Basically. Can you hear how nasty that sounds? And I'm actually not even doing anything else to it. I've only just reversed it and sent it to the instrumental boss. Because we already have reverb and delay already baked into the sound, right? So, it sounds heavenly. 
right? So combined with the bass. To move right here change this whole beat that was like what sealed it for me as soon as i did that like yeah this beat is complete i mean listen to it without it you know at this point i'm thinking something is missing but as soon as i reverse the counter melody And then added some more sound at the second part of the hook just to keep changing the picture of the music and you know keep it interesting basically so i added this sound this is spicy tuna from harmless as well very very dope sound let's listen to that yo and if you notice i am not doing too much for this beat I'm literally just changing instruments and layering instruments to create unique sounds. That's literally what I'm doing. The melody is simple. It stays in your head. And then I also added this bass. This is a normal Ama piano bass. This is our GMS that we like so much. Because it's Diablo T. Right. Yo. Uh-huh. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, bro, simple, simple beat, <laughs> right? And then let's combine with everything else and see what we have. Yeah, nasty. I feel like I should have done one section of the beat just like this. That would have been sick, but anyways. And yeah, that's mainly the beat. I think for the second verse, I just did a bit of a stutter here to just kind of highlight this section of the beat as well. Let's go. You know, simple, simple stuff. This kind of stuff always make your beat sound very, very dope. I'm going to leave a link below so you can listen to the full song. It's a very, very dope record, trust me. And then, you know, some more breaks here as well, just for the effect. Boom. You know, breaks my opinion, are just as important as rolls. Sometimes I can actually make beats without any roll. As you can see, this beat doesn't have any roll. I just have rises and breaks. That's all. Um, yeah, that's it. And then we go into our hook and then we go into the outro. The outro is a very, very simple outro. Yeah, just this playing. Create a very mysterious feel. There you have it man that's the whole beat as you can see simplicity again but with some little bit of complexity <laughs> with the drums at least right but yeah man that's it i hope you got something from this if you did as usual make sure you leave me a like and subscribe if you've not and also i have been receiving a lot of comments from you guys on my, my piano videos asking about where did you get that snare where did you get that shake out so i decided to finally put together the benny macaulay and my piano essentials kit that i've talked about for a while now it's currently available on my store i'm going to leave a link below it's available for free downloads but if you feel like it you can support your boy with a little five dollars all right for my time and efforts <laughs> so click the link below go on the store and download the ben macaulay and my piano essentials kit i also have log drum presets in it as well if you're using logic or any other door you can still download the kit the only thing you can't use is the log drum presets because there's no dx10 in logic you know as you know already and also feel free to browse around my store for vocal presets and mastering presets I've also updated all of the presets, especially for you guys that were complaining about waves not working in your FL or fire filter. I've at least done some updating to make sure that works for everybody. But if you are using cracked plugins, I cannot guarantee that it will work for you. But if you're using paid versions of these plugins, it will definitely work for you. 
Um, and also, if you want to record yourself and you only have Logic Pro as an upcoming artist or a producer, I have a link below as well to a free Logic Pro recording template with a free FB preset with all stock plugins. So you don't need to even worry about third party plugins. You just need your Logic to record and you're good to go. And if you want to book my services for stereo and Adobe Atmos mixing and mastering, I'm going to leave a link below to the engineers page as well. So you can go book my services on engineers. Dot com or you can hit me up on instagram ben macaulay db very easy to find okay so yeah man welcome to april this is a brand new month a brand new opportunity for all of us to go out there and crush it all right so let's do that let's get it i shall see you on the next one ben macaulay out Peace.